my question will be about the ball and the bottom of the ball. Would you advise a person uh, whom about your absolutely sure that have very dirty bottom of the ball like this shadow personality is very very bad and probably overwhelming so would you still advise this person to practice to no, start practicing i would not advise yes or no i would ask since you're here would you like to practice and if yes i advise if not then thank you very much we take you to the bus station so it's not my decision is the person's decision. Okay. If it was somebody who's not interested in Zen and discovering this shadow personality at all, what would you do? Like, would you encourage this person to? I would give them a very warm meal and then some good tea afterwards and wish them goodbye. I see. Thank <laughs> you. Good. More questions? Two days ago, there was a more or less two years old kid here and apart from the physical resemblance like your haircut and the kid's haircut i wanted to ask what is also the kinship between this kid's pure blank mind and the mind we are actually striving for here like do we first need to grow up and to get this type of discursive psychology to understand the clear mind or this kid is already Buddha and actually we, we didn't have to get all the education and learn language and all this stuff. Well, I can reassure you that one day you were this kid just like that. Maybe more than uh, 26 years ago, you were just like that kid in your own way. And yet you grew into this being and you didn't stop. All of us have been in this situation and we all grew up into these roughly ugly adults that we are right now. So remember, the greatest Western Bodhisattva said, yet I tell you that if you do not become like children again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. You cannot remain a child. In fact, some people in the Roman age, and later on also, they tried to delay children's development. They denied the world from them because they wanted to keep them as pure, just as you think they are. They are not pure. They just haven't begun their karma in earnest. It's a slow start, fortunately. And those kids became retarded. They became imbeciles. They became mentally ill. Okay? So it's very clear we have no choice but to grow up, experience the pain of our own ego, inflict pain on the world as well, because we can't do otherwise at some point. Look at your adolescent years. And then wake up from that. And then become children again. And then lose the illusion of I, my, me. That's our way if we choose to do so. But every single human being on this earth goes through crises, soon or later. And that's when your notion of self must change. If there's any meaning in life on this earth, it's probably this one. Otherwise, not much. You grow into somebody you think you are, and the way you handle life and life treats you, you are forced to change that. I'm not who I think I am. The world is not what I think it is. My way is not what I preconceived in my ideas and want to follow in my dreams. But something deeper, simpler, purer. You decide. You discover that. So does it mean that this kid was more awakened than I am right now and we're actually going kind of backwards on our path no. from being Buddhas to being If you keep are. asking these questions, maybe, because the kid didn't ask me such questions as you. <laughs> but uh, you have to understand, the kid didn't get started. When all of us were between two, three years of age, we smelled the sweet, innocent being 
who just happens to be here. But remember, this kid will grow up, starts to talk and walk and uh, do all those things that normal human beings do. And then it turns out what kind of personality he has. Okay, so wasn't it better for those kids in ancient Rome to become imbeciles? Have you seen mentally ill people? Yeah. Have you seen mentally impaired children? Yeah, but never with the eyes of Buddhism. Well, the eyes of Buddhism are not that special. When you see suffering, it's suffering, because that's my next question. When you see those people in these institutions or in caretakers, you know, hands, what do you feel? Probably, you know, it's, it depends because there are some kids that are obviously happy. Nope. Expand your view. You want to see them in certain ways, you may force yourself to do so. But without any concepts, without any predetermined wish of an outcome, look at them just the way they are. Yes. Your heart sinks and you feel compassion for them and you want to help them. And you want to bring them back to normalcy, whether you can or cannot. Now that compassion shows you that you don't want to be in their position, in total dependence, with most of their mental abilities impaired. You don't want that. So it's not a question better or worse, but how do you relate to them? And very, very few people actually want to be in that situation in that condition okay. okay it would be a serious escape a mechanism to escape from the world you know okay so you're saying that starting from the buddha nature point we have to actually go through the hell of consciousness and just later discover for ourselves you have mind then you go through hell no mind no hell okay Good. Thank you.